timing and spacing in walks. So to uh, study walks, let's uh, start with some uh, video analysis of a basic walk. And uh, we'll start focusing on the uh, up and down motion of the body. So here's a basic video reference. And here's that video reference with uh, tracking. This is done using a, a free tracking software. And uh, just looking at the position of the eye, which is easy to mark from frame to frame, we see that uh, uh, there's a general up and down motion uh, in the body. <coughs> and uh, this uh, motion tends to uh, put the uh, head highest around the passing position and lowest at the uh, contact pose. Now, if you're uh, familiar with uh, walks in uh, Richard Williams' uh, Animator Survival Kit, you may know that he puts the highest position uh, of the body just after the passing position. Uh, he has a little bit of a rise in the, in the heel in his basic walk. He likes to have bit of this uh, wave pattern. Uh, for Preston Blair, the his basic walk looks a little more like what we saw in the video with the um, highest uh, position of the body around the passing position and the lowest at contact. Uh, but uh, he also varies that with um, different uh, walks so um, that uh, there's sometimes the highest is just before the passing position or, or just after as with Richard Williams. So Now, uh, this up and down motion affects the uh, timing because the uh, body tends to uh, slow down, uh, rising up to the highest point, and then uh, speed back up uh, as it falls back down. So if the highest point uh, for the center of gravity is in the passing position, then from contact to passing position we tend to uh, slow in and then uh, slow back out coming uh, out of the passing position. One uh, way to understand this is that the body swings uh, up and then back down, somewhat like, a, like an inverted pendulum, so this is uh, some of the timing that occurs with uh, tipping motion. And uh, yet another way to understand that is to imagine uh, an irregular wheel that isn't quite circular so that uh, it rolls kind of like an egg and so um, as it rises it slows a bit and then as the uh, wheel rolls and the center of gravity drops back down it um, uh, speeds up again. Again, this uh, just uh, adds some uh, variation in the uh, in the timing. Now, to uh, appreciate these uh, accelerations and decelerations, uh, just try um, carrying a shallow tray full of water, and you'll um, quickly uh, realize that the water, uh, even when you just do a, a regular casual walk, the water starts uh, sloshing because of the um, forward and backward accelerations um, as you slow in and slow out. If you uh, really want to uh, exaggerate this effect, then uh, try walking uh, stiff-legged like uh, Frankenstein, which very much exaggerates the uh, rising and, and falling motion. Now, besides the up and down motion of the center of gravity. There's also some side to side motion as we walk. Uh, we tend to uh, minimize that because it's less efficient to walk with a significant side to side motion. We have to exert more uh, forces. Uh, that takes just takes more energy. So uh, although it's more efficient to uh, minimize that side to side motion, there is still always um, a bit of it as uh, as we walk. 
Now that um, side to side motion is actually synchronized with the up and down motion, uh, but the um, actual exact pattern of that synchronization uh, varies depending on whether we are walking slowly or walking quickly. So for, um, as we see in the diagram, there's a the up and down motion and side to side motion, and the combination of those two tends to make the center of gravity uh, follow this uh, sideways figure eight or figure infinity loop uh, when uh, the character is walking slowly. When the character is walking quickly, then uh, the synchronization transitions to more of a swinging pattern in this U shape. So it's almost like a pendulum swinging back and forth um, in, a, uh, in a fast walk. So uh, in summary, uh, in a basic walk, the center of gravity tends to rise from the contact pose to the passing position and drop again, um, exiting the passing position to the contact pose. Uh, there's some variety in that. Sometimes the highest point is uh, just before or just after the passing position. This uh, rising and falling motion uh, textures the uh, timing uh, because the body tends to slow as it rises and then uh, speed back up as it falls back down. So you'll have slowing in to the passing position if that's the highest point and then slowing out uh, as uh, you leave the passing position. Then besides this up and down motion, there's also a side to side motion of the center of gravity and that um, tends to be synchronized with the up and down motion. And then finally, that synchronization uh, has a different pattern depending on whether the character is walking slowly or walking quickly. Uh, walking slowly, it tends to be more of a sideways figure eight uh, type of loop, uh, shape loop. Uh, on the other hand, for a fast walk, it tends to be more like a U-shaped uh, swinging motion, almost like a uh, pendulum swinging back and forth. So that's the basics for uh, this topic. Uh, in the next tutorials, we get into more about the forces on the body and uh, weight shift that occurs uh, during walks. So we'll see you then.